Welcome, friends, Galafan members, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and happy Lunar Festival. That's right, the Lunar Festival has begun, as well as Clan War Leagues. So I wanted to talk about both today and pick up some Golden Hogs and see how they're working for Lost Phoenix on their road once again to Champion 1. So first, we went over and checked out this pretty amazing video on YouTube. If you guys want to check that out, make sure you go over there after this video, right? I mean, definitely finish this video first, get to the very end, and then head on over there and let me know if you notice something kind of funny about one of the frames there when it says, your lucky charm in war. Looks like it's a lucky charm in war, but maybe not at the home village if you end up with empty inferno towers. Anyway, all right, so of course, as always, we are going to invest in some of these packages. Now, I'm gonna come back and revisit these values because 100 wall rings that's 20 walls and there's only 50 left i mean that is until there are level 14 walls right but let's let's not get ahead of ourselves so some pretty great values here i'm not going to sit here and try to sell you on them i'm just going to tell you that personally i cannot resist when exclusive decorations come to the village so we're going to pick these up at least the hogs okay the hogs are pretty sweet so shovels of obstacles at a discount as well not bad but i did notice that sometimes packages can be bought more than once so we're just going to run down and it looks like the big packages the hundred dollar one the fifty dollar one those are one purchase only and actually it looks like this one is as well but when you get to the golden hogs notice it says you can purchase up to a total of three golden hogs through the golden hog packs so somehow there's three available so we're going to get into this of course we're going to buy the hogs and just so happens we pick up sh shovels of obstacles that's fine maybe we'll use them at some point in the future you never know all right so there's our first golden hog and let's see where this is going to go it's it's a shame that you can't put these things out on the edge of the base uh, or maybe out in the water or put it on the boat and send it to the builder bait. No, okay. Um, yeah, it does not fit out on the outer grass edge like the obstacles that spawn, uh, which is too bad. I think that that definitely should be an option. But, you know, hey, it brings good luck, allegedly. So we are going to put it right smack in the middle of our home village. And there's three available total, right? Okay, so we want to get this kind of looking symmetrical. So I'm thinking maybe one here, one on the other side. We're going to have to move the Inferno Tower... Well, then we're going to lose symmetry, but that's, that's, you know, we'll figure this out. Okay, so, so three hogs available. So there's one. Let's go back and get the second one. Okay, oh, okay, that first package disappeared. So maybe you can buy this one twice. It doesn't say you can. It says one time offer. Okay, one time offer. We're going to go ahead and purchase this for $9.99. And again, the gold is wasted. The potions we'll use at some point in the future. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, let's okay. We're gonna just check over here. This is this is The builder base and as you can see It's a different obstacle So we went ahead and picked up the firecracker pack uh, the cheapest one because again, we don't need the gold All right firecrackers Firecrackers I'm thinking they need to go over here next to the glowy lanterns. I mean, you know somewhere around you can't quite put it like perfectly and no i'm not using a shovel over here either so let's we'll just set down the firecrackers and uh, they're oh hey oh they've got a nice little animation there to them so cool we've got that got our glowy lanterns got our firecrackers and okay but that doesn't explain the third pig i i still don't see the the triple threat pig so back to the home village we go and we're gonna go ahead and purchase the second pig uh, it looks like maybe there are only two right now. I'm not sure uh, how that's going to work, but let's pick up the second pig. This one, you've got to pay $9.99 for. The first one was only $4.99. And uh, notice, these are only good for the next three days or so. So we've got pig number two. There we go. Looking good. I think that we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure. Okay. Nope. No, nope. you cannot get another pig yet. Or I can't. Maybe you can. I'm not sure what's going on. There's got to be a third pig somewhere. Maybe it shows up in three days. 
That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing there will be a new value pack that shows up with the third pig in uh, three days and five hours or so. But for now, there you go. We've got our golden pigs. Happy Lunar Festival. And that's about it as far as shop items. Now, as far as the league medals, just to let you guys know, yes, I am... I'm kind of... It's, it's wishful, thinking, hopeful that someday I'll be able to buy a champion statue for 2,000 league medals. But of course, you have to get to champion one first. And that's proving a, a little bit difficult. We'll get into that in just a moment. Also, don't forget, we've got... Fun for one, the uh, one gem donations, that is awesome. And Hog Heaven, I don't think that I will be going after this one, but best of luck to the rest of you guys that might be uh, training 11 Hog Riders, uh, eight different attacks winning that. But some pretty good rewards, so maybe it's worth it to you. All right, so here we go. Lost Phoenix, Clan War Leagues, War Number 2. We're looking okay right now. You will notice that... Yes, the opposing team got a zero star against Hyperlight's base. Uh, congrats to Hyperlight. I was surprised to see that. Uh, that is pretty rare, a zero star attack. Uh, so we're looking good. We're sitting pretty right now. Galadon picked up two stars in his war attack. But unfortunately, the first war, uh, we did not win. So we'll take a look. There was round one. We lost to Troy of Sparta by one star. I believe uh, both clans had a one star, but Troy of Sparta had a triple. And uh, otherwise, you'll notice that nobody got over 30 stars. Kind of surprising. And actually, I would say a really good sign that we have a chance this season. We, we didn't see a ton of triples in that very first war. Uh, maybe not any by some of the other clans. We don't know for sure. But again, Troy of Sparta did manage a triple in the first war. So Javi Phoenix, or Yavi, is uh, certainly going to be changing his base. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at that replay. So we'll see it right here. A pretty impressive Queen Walk. Lots of different troops. So Queen Walk Minor, but with an Electro Dragon helping out with the funneling. Now right off the bat, you can see an experienced player dropping in that balloon in front of the Electro Dragon and also a balloon in front of the healers. Those are called coconut loons. They're used to lure out those black seeking air mines. You would much rather have a balloon taken down by one than a healer or about 50% of the health of your Electro Dragon that you can see right here is getting some great value down the right hand side, funneling, making sure the Archer Queen heads up and to the left. And then the Wall Wrecker is going to blaze through this Inferno Tower and continue forth not a lot of opposition for the wall wrecker right there it activates the teslas and it's finally going to go down but not before it gets through the far side and then it looks like the attacker wanted the contents of said wall wrecker to get through the town hall didn't happen so maybe things not going ideally right here but obviously it worked out in the end unfortunately for us uh, nonetheless it looked like that was the original plan to get the, I believe, Valkyries in from the Wall Wrecker and take down the Town Hall. Instead, the Queen Walk is going to take an abrupt right-hand turn. She's going to go back after the Town Hall as the Miners come in. The Finishing Funnel, this is that double funnel Queen Walk Miner attack where the Electro Dragon helped funnel the Queen. The Barbarian King, he helps funnel the Miners. There the Queen takes down the Town Hall for the second star and the miners are getting in after the Eagle Artillery early, which is usually critical, especially for a minor attack, to get the Eagle out of the way during the first half or so of the raid. So the Eagle obviously got a few shots off, but the heal spells kept those miners up, and again, a solid attack, definitely a little bit more risky than running a safe attack. I've got some guaranteed two-star attacks, Maybe going to be a three strategies in my pocket for Clan War Leagues. It's a tough call. I mean, right now in Champion 2 for Lost Phoenix, it looks like we may be able to get by with mostly two-star attacks. If you look at that first round, you know, no clan went crazy. It's also nice to see no clan is like dumping trophies, intentionally losing, anything like that. The spread between the lowest score and the highest score was only four trophies for the entire first round. So it gives me hope that it's going to be a close one. And again, it's going to be a lot of fun as Lost Phoenix tries to battle to get to champion one for the very first time. And then maybe 
we can get that trophy? That that statue, that decoration in the uh, village? I don't know. Anyway, that is how things are starting out for CWL for Lost Phoenix this week. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Happy Lunar New Year. Let me know if you see where that third pig is. I cannot stinking find that pig yet. I don't know. It, it could be that it's just like a pig's tail to find it. And what I mean by is, as Gallimom used to say, it's like a pig's tail. It's twirly. Twir twir twirly, get it? What? Well, whether you got that or not, I apologize. Anyway, thank you guys for spending a few minutes of your day with me. Get out there, be kind to other people, be kind to animals, be easy on the environment. I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. It's like a pig's tail. It's twirly. It's too early. I got it the first time, Galley Don.